a little bit on trauma is you have the big T traumas, the small T traumas, and actually what that does to your body. So your big T traumas are like your one-time events. So they're your PTSD type symptoms, they're your car crashes, your attacks, your um, your deaths, these sorts of things. Um, anything where there's been a big traumatic event that can be classed as a big T trauma. There is little T trauma, which is where we get into things like CPTSD. So little T traumas are your little build up traumas. So there could be emotional traumas. There could be needs not met from childhood. For an example, if you look at the, the still faced experiment uh, that the uh, psychologists did with um, babies where the, the young babies and the mother just didn't pay attention to the baby for quite some time, just just as if they didn't exist basically if the the child's needs aren't getting met if they're not getting recognized for example they can get highly distressed and this distress releases cortisol which can affect the brain and the body um, so you have a lot of those unneed needs met or just actual physical and emotional abuse then Anything that gets suppressed gets depressed into the body and you get compound trauma, you get um, complex trauma. So it's kind of like an onion effect, it's a layered effect. So every layer of trauma becomes more complex. So rather than like a one-time event, like with PTSD, where we can treat that with things like EMDR, for example, uh, CPTSD or very complex traumas, um, you're basically having to peel away a lot of an onion, a layers of an on onion of trauma. And, um, and for some people that's a never ending journey. And just when you think you've got to the end of it, um, you can almost feel like you're at the start again. So it, it's quite a, a, a difficult journey. And there's also a lot of um, tension in um, trauma there's like as far as like the uh, effects on the body uh, it can feel like you've got a foot on the, the brake and a foot on the accelerator and that stored tension in the body like your body's on rev of that fight flight freeze response then it can actually um, any sort of quick release of that trauma can actually be very overwhelming for a person so that's sort of why it's good to work with um, someone that's trained in trauma that's a trauma expert because if you deal with someone that you know isn't aware you have that potential of being overwhelmed by um, past events it's like with exposure therapy um, like yes and no for some people but once again you're exposing people to the trigger um, so without any way to discharge um, what's stored in the body then um, exposing re-exposing someone to um, like say if I was to um, expose you to if you had a fear of spiders then me constantly showing you spiders is not actually going to <laughs> help the situation sort of thing it's just going to scare you more and you're going to see me as an unsafe person sort of thing so um, to and with EFT we can actually address um, phobias as well with um, EFT sort of done differently than just showing you a spider and saying how do you feel about that because <laughs> we already know how you feel about that <laughs>